Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. So today, oh my gosh, my hair. Today, I just wanted to film a story time. So as you can see, I am in the hospital. And the other day, I had probably one of the most traumatic events happen. Um, so, okay. Let me start off. So I'm just going Basically, I came in here for an infection, kidney infection, and my tube. So my tube's supposed to be changed. I have a tube that's kind of like my bladder because I'm paralyzed and stuff. So the tube's supposed to be changed every three to four weeks, but mine was not changed since the last hospitalization I was here. Um, because I knew I had an infection, I was like really scared to just do it, I guess. Um, and I was like putting it off. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so basically I came in, my tube basically was like stuck because basically my bladder, they found out, is pressed up against like a different organ. It's very inflamed, infected. In the tube, there's like a balloon at the end to hold it in place through the incision. And basically that like kidney crystal started growing around it and it kind of got, it got stuck. And I also had adhesions going down the surgical site and in my bladder. So it was causing a lot of pain. Um, basically, I got here and they didn't really know what to do at first because of it. So after like a few days of being here, they tried changing it. They gave me some pain meds. And whenever they would touch it, I was like crying. I was like literally like stop, 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 stop. Up, like when they went up here and did it. It gets, I ended up going down to like the interventional radiology, but it's a difference. It's, we'll get there. Um, so they gave me pain meds and they tried doing it. And they listened. I was like, I can't, I can't. And then my doctor was like, okay, we'll order the meds where you can go to sleep and don't remember this. Um, and we'll get you pain meds because clearly this is very painful. Like, I could, no one could touch around the surface without me like, ah, you know. Um, I don't know why I'm talking so fast. <laughs> Anyways, next day, they scheduled me an IR. I was in the waiting, like, where they put the patients in the waiting room before you go into the room to get the procedure done. And I overheard the nurses talking, and they were all like, we don't do this for this kind of tube. Like, why are they wanting to do that, like, pain med and, like, sedate her? Like, that's, like, we're not, we don't do that. I overheard them saying that. I texted my mom, like, freaking out. I was like, mom, they're not going to give me anything. My mom was like, okay, you need to tell them, dude. And then my, like, nurse, like, who normally, like, my urology nurse I normally go see called me. And I was like, they're not going to give me anything. And she was like, you need to get something for this. Like, you need to. Like, that, like that's not okay not to get anything. And I was like, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, so they come and get me. They transfer me to the table. Um, they start cleaning it. I was like, oh my god, like, stop, stop, stop. And they were like, we have to do this, we have to do this. I'm like, literally, please, like, stop. Like, give me, like, stop. And they didn't stop. They kept doing it. And they're like, do you want to hold her hand? And I was like, okay. So I held a nurse's hand. And then I was trying to, like, go like that because, like, he was still cleaning it. And, of course, like so sensitive so painful everything like it was literally stuck and like the outside was all oh my god anyways they proceed they start they deflate the balloon which also was really painful and then they just basically i was like like this i was trying to get my hands but they like three nurses were like holding them down so i couldn't like i was holding their hand and then I was, like, trying to move, and she, like, was holding it down. Like, they were holding my hands down. So I couldn't be, like, stop, stop, like, stop this. Um, like, this, uh, this hurts. I need something. I need a med. Like, they couldn't, like, oh, my God. It was awful. Anyways, the guy goes on. He yanks the tube out. I'm crying and sweating like panicking at this point like having a panic attack on the table like crying and being like like stop so, like begging them to stop and then they just put a new one in but they like didn't like um it was like 
probably one of the most painful things I have ever dealt with in my life. And I have dealt with like sepsis. I've dealt with a lot of pain, a lot of painful procedures and a lot of literally like chronic pain and like nothing compares to this, how this was like nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyways, after that, they all felt really bad because they saw me crying and they were like, oh my God, she's literally sweating in pain. I was like, like, you know, I was like crying and stuff. And they, they were talking after and they're like, yeah, next time we'll put her in sedation. And my brain was like, okay. But my, I was like, hopefully there isn't a next time where my bladder is up against another organ, pressing it. It's infected and inflamed. I have adhesions going down the tube site in my bladder. And my tube would literally not, like, be stuck in me. So hopefully that wouldn't happen again. They were supposed to do that this time. All the nurses thought it was going to happen up here on the floor. The charge nurse actually ran down from this floor down to the IR, like, first IR floor. And was, but they were already doing it by then. And I was like, oh my god. I texted my mom and I was like, this is literally like the worst like thing I think I've ever felt. And I was like hyperventilating and I was like, can I get an out of it? And they were like, I literally like, they didn't give me pain meds. They didn't do anything. I was like, I need an, like an out of van for anxi my anxiety and stuff. And they gave me half of one, which I normally take one. Um, but at the time I was like so shocked. I was like, I don't know. Like, just give me, just give me something. <laughs> I was like, um, and then when they transferred me back to the bed, I was crying all the way up here. And when I got in my room, I was crying. I was like hyperventilating because I was so like distraught from like holding, like it just like, at one point they were like, so do you want us to get the wrist restraints out? And I was like, no, so they didn't. But like the thought of that, you know, I don't know. That just like brought back too many like memories and stuff. Um, from like eating disorder treatment and stuff. Um, but basically, I get back up here. The nurses found out nothing happened. Like they all talk and they find out they didn't give me anything. They are all shocked, pissed off. Like, what the actual like hell? And um, like all of the nurses here up here like found out. I guess. Um. And basically, they come up here and they get, they're like getting pain meds right away. They get me on meds right away. So I was like more comfortable. And I was like, this is like what, I don't even know what just happened. And um, all of the nurses on that shit, like everything, shingle, shingle, every single shift the nurses know about what happened. And they're like, I'm so sorry. Okay. But then. Also, one of the IR ladies, like, I really, like, she was amazing. Like, she was the one who held my hand and stuff, but, um, who's, like, also, like, I guess protecting me from, like, touching the site, but I was already saying, like, stop, stop, I can't do this, like, in the beginning, kind of. At first, I was like, I'm brave, I'm brave, I can do this, and then I was like, no, like, I can't, like, you're cleaning, I was like, I can't do this, um, and they didn't stop, um, then they had like a whole team of investigators, but it was the IR, the IR department leader came up to me today. This happened a few days ago, like four or five days ago. The IR department guy came up today and was like, so yeah, we interviewed all the staff and like, we just want to hear your side. And he was like, it just sounds like you were really stressed and you, sorry, I thought someone was the door. And you asked to hold their hands. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, so, so it was just a normal, it was just like a quick procedure. And I was like, uh, yeah. Um, it was longer than like my normal tube changes goes, of course, because I was like, you know, in so much pain, like, hyperventilating and stuff, and, um, 
yeah, it was crazy. And this guy comes up today, the IR director, and basically is like, okay, so they said they were holding your hands. And I was like, yeah. And then, like, I tried to, like, move them because I was in a lot of pain. It was just my instinct. And we, like, push it away, you know? And they were like, yeah, but the site was already cleaned. I was like, yeah. Like, I'm 21. I, like, advocate. Like, I d I should have advocated for myself more. I should have. My nurse on the phone, my mom, everyone was telling me I need to advocate for myself more. But I was like, you know, um, learn that the hard way. <laughs> Um, and then some of the nurses came in and was like, like, like different shifts were like, we heard what happened, we're so sorry, like, are you gonna press charges? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And my mom, like, made a complaint, and like, we complained to the medical board or whatever, um, and they had the IR director do this, and the guy who came to see me was him. But the thing is, when I was in a rehab hospital for getting me to walk again, I will go, I'll do a different story time with this one because it's also like really long. Um, the guy who did something to me at first, the hospital was like, okay, like he's gone for like, tell you out of here, tell you're out. And like, we're really investigating this and like the police are involved. And right when we leave, my mom was telling me how they just covered it up. They just covered it up. They tried covering it up and there was nothing we could really do. Um, evidence gets pushed back 10 years, they literally said, so, and there wasn't, I, it was just crazy. I was 18 at that time and had way less medical knowledge in my brain or anything. Um, and I was like, I want to do something this time. Like, this was really scary and the doctor came in today and now I'm thinking like, oh, maybe I shouldn't because like they were just trying to help but i'm like i don't know because i was supposed to be given pain meds and they didn't do that they didn't wait they didn't they didn't like do any of that and like they were supposed to so they were basically like oh it was a bis big miscommunication and if you hear like see me like crying my like for my life basically like in pain like sweating like hyperventilating you should probably stop they didn't um going on today i had to get another procedure for a different reason and the ir director basically was like okay well i'll go down and before the procedure like i'll introduce you to everyone and we'll talk and stuff stuff it was just like really like it was sweet it was sweet, like, I got to know everyone, but, like, I, like, made sure I wasn't stressed, but, like, at the same time, I was just, like, this is just so weird, like, they're really not taking this seriously, um, and so I was, like, maybe I should, so, because I, I can tell, like, they're trying to push it away and make it as, like, oh, it was nothing, so, I mean, Hospitals were really good with that, I would say, and honestly, this was very traumatic, and yeah, this whole hospital stay has just been a lot, but definitely the nurses up here and my doctors have definitely been, like, there for me, and, like, um, like, that shouldn't have happened, like, they were like shocked it happened like that and the IR people like they were sweet like they were sweet at them they were like okay next time we'll sedate her and like that one lady I had her for a different procedure when I was down in IR and she was so sweet like we have like a connection and stuff um but it was just a very hard like when I was saying stop like stop stop I need to like just stop stop they weren't stopping and, like, I couldn't move my hands to, like, push it away. And I'm, like, it was just, I thought this was, like, a whole, like, consent thing. Um, so that happened. And 
kind of, yeah. Um, they were saying different things I could do. Like, one of the, the like, hospitalist people were like, you can call 911 and re report assault charges. And I'm like, like, I don't need that in my life right now. I have other stuff going on. Like, I'm literally, in the past, like, two months, I've been in the hospital a total of five, over five weeks. Like, I don't need that. Like, and knowing that I'm gonna lose any- like, I'd lose anyways, and that'd get pushed away, because, you know. Um. Yeah, so. That was crazy, and that's just, like, kind of, like, what happened with me, and this story time of this experience, and I just wanted to share that, because I did- share a little bit of clips on my story on instagram but i just kind of want to make a longer video of this but yeah thank y'all for watching i hope you enjoyed i will be filming more videos soon i have some very exciting stuff coming up you're gonna love um so excited um but i hope y'all enjoyed make sure to subscribe check out my website for my merch down below in the description and my socials also down below in the description. Alright. I love y'all. Bye.